Tomatoes are a great snack to munch on, but what about for your dog? The truth is, this isn't a straightforward answer. And in some cases, you might need to be concerned. Hey, I'm Nicole from Dogs Naturally, and today I'm going to answer the question once and for all, if dogs can eat tomatoes. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now, ripe tomatoes, fed as a treat, can be great for your dog. They're full of antioxidants and fiber your dog needs. But green tomatoes and tomato stems and even the leaves are a whole different story. In fact, if your dog gets a hold of these, they could poison him. Before we talk about that, let's get into antioxidants. Antioxidants help control harmful free radicals in your dog's body. Free radicals are damaged molecules that happen as part of normal metabolism. But they're increased by things like pollution or other toxins in your dog's environment. And when they grow out of control, they lead to oxidative stress. And that increases the risk of disease in early aging. So your dog needs plenty of antioxidants to help manage the balance of free radicals. Tomatoes have three powerful antioxidants that can help your dog. The first antioxidant I wanna talk about is beta carotene. Beta carotene is a carotenoid, or a plant pigment found in fruits and veggies. It's also an antioxidant that fights free radicals, but that isn't all it can do. Beta carotene can help with vision health, immune function, cognitive function, sun protection, and cancer prevention. Not only that, beta carotene is also pro-vitamin A. This means it converts to vitamin A in your dog's body. And vitamin A helps with healthy skin, coats, muscles, and nerves. Next, let's talk about lycopene. Lycopene is also a carotenoid. It's responsible for the pink and red color of tomatoes and other produce like watermelon. As a general rule, the redder the tomato, the higher the concentration of lycopene. In one study, people who ate tomato products were less sensitive to the sun's rays after 10 to 12 weeks. This means it may be an effective way to help protect your dog from sunburn. Lysipine from tomatoes can also reduce systolic blood pressure, which can be helpful for dogs who suffer from hypertension or high blood pressure. Studies also link a higher risk of heart attack and stroke to low levels of lysipine. Further experiments show lysipine supplementation can help reduce the risk of strokes. And lastly, let's talk about the vitamin C in tomatoes. Vitamin C not only helps prevent oxidative stress and chronic illness, it's also needed to grow and repair tissue, fight off infection, help the adrenal gland function properly, form calcium, form iron, and reduce allergy symptoms. But unlike humans, dogs can produce their own vitamin C, but sometimes they need a bit extra added to their food. If your dog suffers from allergies or you think he needs an antioxidant or immune boost, vitamin C is a great choice. Now that you know the reasons you should share tomatoes with your dog, let's go over a few cautions. Tomato stems, leaves, and green tomatoes are toxic to dogs. So while a nice ripe red tomato is good, anything green could make him very sick. And that's because of a substance called tomatine. Tomatine is an alkaloid that is very toxic to dogs. Tomatine is also sometimes mistaken for solanine, another alkaloid that is toxic to dogs. Higher concentrations of solanine are found in potatoes and other nightshades, but tomatoes contain it as well. Solanine toxicity is rare in dogs because of the amount of greens they would have to eat. But if you see symptoms like loss of coordination, weakness, or tremors after eating tomato greens, you'll want to contact your vet right away. And if you do want to share tomatoes with your dog, make sure you buy organic as much as you can and don't feed any green parts. If you enjoyed this video, comment below and share it with someone you think would like it. Thanks for watching.